Yo, what is up guys? It's Elite Shot here, aka Sean, and today I want to talk about the recent Black Ops 2 patch, both for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. The first thing they added was a new calling card, a new title, a Call of Duty Ghost title, and you get this by pre-ordering Call of Duty Ghosts. Okay, the thing is, when I first pre-ordered Call of Duty Ghosts, I thought I was going to get the Call of Duty Ghost camo for Black Ops 2, and I never got it. I'm not sure if there's some code or something I have to type in somewhere, I just never received the code. I'm not sure if it's because my email address for my Xbox account does not match the email address that I got with GameStop. That might be it, but I'm not too sure, so I'm not sure how I'm going to get this calling card. Some other things they added were six new uh, camos, they added six new personalization packs, and in all honesty, I think these are kind of stupid. I don't like these camos that much. I've seen them. I don't like them that much. There's a few decent looking ones, like the Aqua one's kind of cool. The Pega Punch is a big letdown. Looks like a piece of poop on a gun. I don't like it. Maybe you guys do. They're not that expensive, so they're like a dollar, so it's not too bad, but I wouldn't go ahead and buy them all because that's just dumb. Some other things they changed were a few weapons, some gameplay balancing. They changed the AN-94, the DSR-50, and the Ballista. For the AN-94, they reduced the damage, so now you won't be able to kill as quick, you won't be able to drop enemies as fast as you used to, and that's kind of a letdown because the AN-94 was one of the most powerful assault rifles in the game, and I'm not sure how it is now because I didn't try yet, maybe you guys did, you guys can comment below, tell me how much of an impact they made on it, but I noticed normally in Black Ops 2, you know, Treyarch patches, they don't nerf the guns too much, they kind of just slightly change them, just a tad, so maybe I'm assuming they did that for this. For the DSR and the Ballista Sniper Rifles, they reduce the fire rate. And it's kind of weird because they're both bolt action sniper rifles, so they reduce the delay between every shot. The delay is not that great, however, it's still pretty noticeable. If you're like a big sniper, a big quickscoper, you'll definitely notice the difference between the delay of shots. It's a small change, it's definitely noticeable. Optic Midnight made a video on it showing her opinion, saying what she thought about it, and she said she didn't notice that much, but it is pretty minuscule and it kind of does mess up your, um, your routine. If you're used to the sniper being one way and shooting at the same pace, you're going to notice the difference because she was shooting too soon and the gun wouldn't... It was just all messed up for her. And for the Ballista, she said it wasn't that big of a change compared to the DSR. However, there still is a slight delay, though it's not as bad. But that was the patch, guys. There wasn't that much to it. There was also some zombie patch information. I'll provide a link in the description if you guys want to go and check that out and to read some more on that. But as I always say, guys, it's Elite Shot here, a.k.a. Sean, your friendly COD fanboy. I'm signing out. Peace.